Do you know what the air quality index is and why it's important? The air quality index or AQI is an indicator crafted by government agencies to communicate to the public about the current state of air pollution. As the levels of air pollution rise, so does the AQI and with it, the associated public health risk. It's essential to be mindful of this, especially for the vulnerable groups such as children, the elderly, and individuals with respiratory or cardiovascular problems. The AQI is not a static number. It can increase due to a rise in air emissions, such as during rush hour traffic, upwind forest fire, or due to a lack of dilution of air pollutants. Stagnant air, often caused by an anticyclone, temperature inversion, or low wind speeds, allows air pollution to remain in a local area, leading to high concentrations of pollutants, chemical reactions between air contaminants, and hazy conditions. Different countries have their air quality indices, each corresponding to their national air quality standards. For example, Canada has the Air Quality Health Index, Malaysia uses the Air Pollution Index, and Singapore refers to the Pollutant Standards Index. So how is the AQI calculated? It requires an air pollutant concentration over a specified averaging period, obtained from an air monitor or model. The combination of concentration and time represents the dose of the air pollutant. Air pollutants vary in potency, and the function used to convert from air pollutant concentration to AQI varies by pollutant. AQI values are typically grouped into ranges. Each range is assigned a descriptor, a color code, and a standardized public health advisory. On days when the AQI is predicted to be high due to fine particle pollution, Agencies might advise sensitive groups to avoid outdoor exertion, declare an action day to encourage voluntary measures to reduce air emissions, or recommend the use of masks outdoors and air purifiers indoors to keep fine particles from entering the lungs. In extreme cases, they may even invoke emergency plans that order major emitters to curtail emissions until the hazardous conditions abate. Most air contaminants do not have an associated AQI. Many countries monitor ground-level ozone, particulates, sulfur dioxide, carbon monoxide, and nitrogen dioxide, and calculate air quality indices for these pollutants. Understanding the AQI in your nation reflects the discourse surrounding the development of national air quality standards. Today, we have websites that allow government agencies worldwide to submit their real-time air monitoring data for display using a common definition of the Air Quality Index. To recap, the Air Quality Index is a crucial indicator of the health of the air we breathe. It's calculated based on the concentration of various pollutants in the air, and a higher AQI means a higher public health risk. By being aware of the AQI, we can take necessary precautions to protect our health, especially those of us who are most vulnerable. So, the next time you step outside, remember to check the AQI. It's not just a number, it's a sign of our environment's health.